Greetings everyone. Hi, this is Pastor Song Bay from Lighthouse Global for early morning prayer. I do apologize for being delayed. I've just um, kind of been giving me a lot of myself a lot of grace because of um, yeah, a lot going on. But let's pray. And I, I do apologize. The lighting is kind of funny, but you know, we're just gonna have to ask God for grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for a mighty wind and move of God right now. I pray for super um, laser focus on what you are saying and what you are showing us in the name of Jesus. We bind him and block distraction. And I just pray for the power of God to call upon this broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Let's pray. Let's pray. This is early morning prayer. And today's today's title of this message is, this, this topic is unity. So we're going to pray for unity in light of all the things that are um, going on. I'm going to try to do this. Good morning. Yes, it's a great day. We're going to pray for unity today. Um, I have Colossians 3 here, Colossians 3, 13 through 14. Um, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you and over the, all the virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Hallelujah. Yes and amen. So um, today uh, I, I said unity, but really what I am focusing and what I sensed when I got up was spirit of offense. That is, again, trying to act out. And uh, I really don't appreciate that because of all the um, things that are going on right now with the Atlanta shooting. And um, I will try to talk about that later, but um, I can already, already sense the spirit of offense that's been, um, the devil's been using this spirit of offense, I will call it, people being offended left and right. And I want to I wanna bind that in the name of Jesus. That is not where we're going in Jesus' name. And so um, that's really what I sense this morning, that offense, offended, being offended. And um, just before I go into this, you know, um, the, the live reality and how each person live out their lives and how racism is experienced in people. Now, we have to label it because uh, if you are saying that, oh, racism doesn't exist, that, is, that statement in itself is gaslighting. <laughs> Meaning, yes, it does exist because I don't know any any Asian American or any Korean American. I don't know any woman who have not experienced something strange happening to them and that them not being able to label it, understand what what had just happened. Um, it's a it's a personal history where people experience it. For example, I'll give you this one example. I was in New York City when COVID hit, and and you know I was uh, the first day that I actually got all the food to take to the hospital. You know, I did the oxygen project where I fed the nurses and it was the first day I was going to ER in a hospital and I had ordered food and I walked out back then. Not many people were out on the streets at all because it was COVID. It was crazy. And it took great courage on my part to go actually to take all the food to the hospital. So there I was in a restaurant picking up food and I had just told my friend, I'm going to go to like like two stores down a, a place where I can buy some water because we have forgotten water. I'm going to go and get some water. So I walk out and there's a homeless African-American man. So he wasn't a white person. It was an African-American homeless looking person that started assaulting me and offending me and saying, um, it's all your fault that I was Chinese and that I had um, brought the virus. And he was just cussing and it was demonic. It was a demonic voice. And I pat walked past him, prayed, and I went into the store to get some water and I physically felt unsafe. I felt physically unsafe to, to buy water and walk back by myself because he was still there outside waiting for me. So I called my friend, my friend who is a guy friend, I, uh, a, a young man, I called him and I said, listen, um, I don't feel safe right now. I don't feel safe walking out by myself. Could you please calm down here? This is the situation. This guy is uh, cussing me because I had brought the, he's saying I brought the virus and it's just horrible. And so um, I felt unsafe. So my friend came and uh, we walked out together. Um, so that's one incident. And in New York City, I, I was visiting a friend's house just to pray for her. And I walked down the elevator and this elderly white man who was in the elevator or he, who was either in the elevator or outside the elevator, I had my mask on, but something ticked like he didn't like me. And he started 
saying all these offensive things for me to hear. He wasn't directly saying you blah blah blah, but he was saying stuff about how we had brought the virus and how it was all my fault and and he I I should have had the mask on properly, blah 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 blah, just so that to, to offend me. He, his goal was to pick a fight. But of course, I pretended like a stupid person who didn't understand English. <laughs> and um I was like, I'm not even gonna respond. It's very clear to me what he what he wants to do, um, just to offend me, to get me to uh, be angry. Um, so I just walked out, and my friend and I, who are Korean, I'm trying to get this lighting thing set up properly. I look kind of funny in this light. Sorry about that. But you know, I just I was kind of like, well, whatever, and I just walked out. Um, so that was you know a couple of instances that happened during this uh, pandemic. Uh, and then, you know, in New York City, I read lots of news and I know this is for true. There was a Korean girl in Midtown that um, was just walking down Bryan Park or something. And it was a, a, a girl in her 20s and she just got beaten um, by some black person. She just got beaten like to her face. So she reported it. And I've got lots of texts from the from the local government saying, if you have experienced hate crime or if you have had somebody come against you, please report. And they're encouraging Asian Americans to report. So that's been going on for the past, over past year. And I explain that to you because that is my lived reality. It's not somebody else's story. I'm telling you, that's my story. Um, and I'm not sharing this to to gain sympathy, to, to have you even pray for me. I'm just telling you just the reality, plain as simple, just the fact of what had happened to me. And there's still other stuff that I don't want to go into. But the reason why I say this is um, when when you go through things like that and then other people tell you that racism doesn't exist and, and that that's gaslighting. That's kind of like saying, well, what you experienced didn't happen. No, it did happen. It's kind of like um, it did happen. I'm the witness of being, you know, that did happen. So please be careful in saying, oh, that's not, that doesn't exist. That didn't happen. Yes, it did happen. <laughs> and, and, you know, four Korean women were killed in a spa, which massage places, which people normally go. I was in Atlanta. I have friends there. And so it's very concerning when, when you feel threatened in your life, like you feel like somebody's going to come and kill you. And let me tell you that that is a vulnerable place to be when you're physically small and weak, you know, and then you don't feel like um, the system is for you, but it's against you. So, but I, I am fully aware how I'm able to overcome and brush it off and all of that is because I have Christ in me. Um, the, the, the temptation in all of these scenarios is to not buy into spirit of offense. And that is what I'm praying. This morning, we're coming against spirit of offense because we need to come together in unity. So um, Colossians 3, it says, bear with each other and forgive one another. So I know this is a hard word, but let's forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgive one another because um, if you are offended, and the thing is like one offense leads to the next, the next offense leads to the next, it snowballs. Uh, let's say some some of your non-Asian friends said something to you and you got offended. Well, the the you, we have to rise above of it for Asian Americans, for those who are feeling the pain and hurt, for African Americans, those who are feeling the pain and hurt of all of this, because your lived experience is that there is this systematic and spiritual and um, real racism that you lived out your experience and you haven't fully recovered from it, it God has to really intervene and heal you and when that's not even there you have other races that are condemning you and saying things it's easy for the minorities and people who are feeling victimized to get offended and that is what we are to watch out for we are to pray against and bind the spirit of offense and really come against it what is the opposite of offense is forgiving and loving and god said it's the it's grace just preach grace giving grace to one another giving a lot of extra grace to people that is what we are to do so i am just praying for that today's word is unity and it's about coming together in perfect unity um 
forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity yes and amen binds them in perfect unity one spirit of number one the point I wanted to make was spirit of offense divides us let's pray right now for those who are feeling angry and upset and that the greater spirit of offense will not go into like a community or use this as a cause that is not of God, like a, like a bitter root kind of growing. We just bind it in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you will visit every heart. You will visit uh, every every person that is affected by uh, the, the stuff that's going on. Father, we just bind and, and we break the spirit of offense. We pray for forgiveness, grace. We just pray for extra grace to cover people right now in Jesus' name. People who lives are feeling threatened who feel like um they're not being heard and all of those things we just pray for grace 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 in this hour in jesus mighty mighty name Shakarada. and father i pray against spirit of division where uh the the de demonic spirit is trying to divide the church even regarding these things i know that when when these topics come up uh, literally ministries were destroyed because of different opinions uh, people were destroyed, families were destroyed and divided. There's such spirit of division right now all across the globe, but also in America, this has been, you know, never have families been so divided regarding politics and different things. Father, I pray against spirit of division. I pray that you would unite the, the remnant, unite the people that are supposed to come together and let no offense come between one person to the, let no offense come between people. We just pray for unity in this hour in Jesus mighty mighty name number two of the point i want to make for you is we do have a greater enemy that our enemies are not each other we have a greater enemy to fight this is also another distraction to get us to stop fighting the greater enemy and then we're coming against the red dragon spirit people of god we're coming against the greater cause so you know um like the the story i told you about how when i was in new york city um the first day I was delivering food to the to the hospitals, um, there was a spirit of intimidation through this man who told me uh, that it was all my fault. Well, I, I have strength enough to push that away and just ignore it because I had a greater mission to fulfill. I'm not going to get this get this man's comments or this demonic distraction stop me from bringing food to the nurses. So I, I went to the ER with my friend, got the water and everything. Didn't even bother me. But um that's the that's the key we have a greater mission to fulfill we have a greater cause to fight over and we need to fight together so we have a greater enemy um apart from what's going on we have a greater enemy uh that's coming against the church the body of christ that is trying to take away your freedom trying to change the way you think and really come against a destiny of a nation destiny of america destiny of each nation there's a skewing and, and even like if you talk about false narrative narrative it's not this it's it's they're going to change the historical narrative of what had happened so, you know it's coming the the twisting of history is coming that's already happened in south korea where president moon is suddenly saying that um the first president of south korea was he's offending him and saying he's not you know well first president of south korea is the one that built the korean the republic of korea how can you deny that well changing of history is is coming it's that's what happens when the devil gets in you know now we're going to fight over the facts of history what had happened some you know just in america the 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 demonic forces might say the mayflower didn't happen you know something ridiculous like that you know how many of you know that like people say holocaust didn't happen it did happen you know so so we do have a greater enemy we just pray against this kind of um like changing the narrative of a history because of offense that is not what god wants history is history okay so father we just pray that we we would see people who are interceding would see that there there's a greater enemy that we are to fight that we will we will not be played by the enemy's hands we will not be played by the devil take us out of it and i just pray for holy spirit to come with truth and revelation on this hour in jesus mighty name 
Uh, so yeah, those are the things that I want to share. Let's pray. Let's pray right now. Pray for grace, forgiving, no room for spirit of offense, more of God's love to, to fill up the church and, and love a revolution to come to the body of Christ where people are just being changed by the love of Jesus. Father, for true justice to be done in every scenario, not just this one, but Father, there's so many injustices everywhere, God. And I just pray that God, you will be um, use, uh, you would use this for your glory. The devil will not be able to use these things, these instances, to get get his way or to to play the people or to deceive people. Uh, because that is what's behind it. We just bind it and break it in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you would uh, give historians anointing and, and, and people who are uh, in the right mind to keep, uh, preserve history as it is, that if there's skewing and changing of textbooks and you know, saying that something in history didn't happen, this kind of mass gaslighting. I pray that God, you will make us aware of this gaslighting, even like a spirit that's ga trying to gaslight people. So I'm not gonna let you gaslight me because this is what I went through denying what had happened is not going to bring healing actually acknowledging it will bring healing and father we pray for for amazing healing ministers to rise up it is certainly a time when we need healers we need a, a high level healing anointing to heal people from these memories and trauma of each individuals and collectors father we pray for mighty healers to arise in the body of Christ greater than Catherine Kuhlman greater than Oral Roberts greater than Amos Simple McPherson, greater than any healing minister that we, we that, that walked upon this earth. We need a, a sevenfold anointing of a massive healing and deliverance anointing in this hour. We pray and we receive it in this hour in Jesus' mighty name. Receive this anointing of healing and deliverance in this hour in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen and amen. And let the devil not use any spirit of offense. Father, we repent of keeping offense and keeping record of wrong of our brothers and sisters. Father, we love you and you are a God who created all races, all colors. And we thank you for each person for their skin color. We will not uh, look upon it and judge them. We see their spirits and we thank you for our brothers and sisters across the earth. We are for the nations because kingdom is all about nations. We bless how you have created each and every one of us. We value that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So that's the word for today. God bless you guys. Just be aware uh, not to add to the offense that's going around and not to gaslight any Asian Americans. I think in this hour, the best thing is just to say, I'm so sorry for what happened. You know, I hear you. Uh, I'm right here for you if you need to talk. And just be a healing minister. We all need to be amazing Holy Spirit counselors to heal people. And just, you know, um, I think just even somebody just saying, oh, that happened to me. Okay, well, instead of saying dismissing it and saying i'm so sorry gosh that must have been hard that's all people look for you know i think asian american women need their voices heard they just need to tell you what had happened just like what i said in this broadcast have it was quite often and you know i have inner strength to deal with it but a lot of young people don't and um the devil can use it to really pull them down and we just break that in jesus name so yeah be a healing minister today and let's pray for america that this will not any of this kind of narrative this kind of um offense will not divide us it's been happening and we bless the black community african-american community every latino community every minority community that God, you will you will raise the apostles and the prophets who are new, new breed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.